in St. John's County man arrested for passing himself off as a decorated retired admiral. 65-year-old Lloyd Mitchell, investigators say, not only pretended he had reached the highest rank in the Navy, they say he also claimed to have been awarded a Purple Heart and other honors for his service to our country. Tonight, this Elton man has been booked in the St. John's County Jail. Channel 4's Haley Winslow is joining us live. She talked with the Sheriff's Office about the investigation. Haley? Mary, detectives contacted NCIS at Mayport and learned not only did Mitchell not serve in the Navy, there's no record of him in any branch of the military, which has a lot of people in this town very upset. Tom Folger, stationed at NAS Jax, has served nearly two decades in the United States Navy, including during Operation Iraqi Freedom. He was not happy to hear about this. We're protecting the country for this person. It's disheartful. Uh, I don't know how we got a hold of those things, try to manipulate it towards his benefit, but it really hurts me who've done almost 20 years. Detectives began their investigation early last month when they received an anonymous tip. They say Lloyd Mitchell was presenting himself as a retired admiral and say he even made an hour-long presentation at the Coquina Crossings Veterans Day celebration about his service during post-9-11 days. In January, Mitchell submitted a military discharge form to obtain veteran status on his driver license, which also listed Mitchell as the recipient of the Purple Heart, Bronze Star, Silver Star with Clusters, and Vietnam Medal of Honor. Apparently counterfeited his DD-214 form, if you will, from the military, which is the discharge paperwork, taking that to the tax collector's office where we issue driver's licenses to get that V placed on his driver's license for any preferential treatment that it may have meant for him. After a function at the VFW, people contacted the St. John's County Sheriff's Office saying something didn't seem right. That is a fraudulent issue on the local level. Um, what the federal government may or may not do with this case at this juncture, we're not sure. I don't know how, why a person would do that to somebody who serves his nation. Mitchell was booked in the St. John's County Jail on $3,000 bond. Reporting live, Haley Winslow, Channel 4, The Local Station.